Yo, peoples, Kyushu United 2 here, and welcome back to yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece, so let's get it started! episode of one piece we had tama with komachio running through the entire castle taking control of as many smile users that they could find due to the unique nature of tama's devil fruit and we had a beautiful moment where frankie was taking on sasaki sasaki in a beautifully animated section and the fight between the two just continued from there good lord i love this anime but that guy right there specifically his face was unusually detailed in comparison to everyone else. Then it turns out that Tama has taken control of all the smile users that S Sasaki thought was on his side in order to turn the tide of the battle. Then Nami hits Ulti with Thunder... with Thunderland's tempo. Oh, and this beautiful moment from, from Frankie. Oh, I love this moment. Where it was just, it was just very, very quiet. And it was all like, hmm, did you forget that I was over here? Shouldn't be looking away in the middle of a battle. And just uppercuts the dude. And now we're cutting to some music? Sanji scream! And the SOS echoes over the island. They are making a song of them beating up Sanji! Look, I don't want to meet geishas like her if she's if they're gonna be doing that. Some guys might be into it, but I'm not. I can't stand pain. It hurts me. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys will like that perspective. <laughs> okay, this is like the female version of fight back, Sanji! Fight back! Fight back! <laughs> See, I know Sanji has this stance of never hitting women, but there's no issue with dodging them. Has he ever thought of... He's just letting himself get hit. He's fast enough to dodge all of them. Why let yourself get hit? You don't gotta hit them. Just don't let them hit you. I have to say, the spider, par the spider part of Black Maria is uh, bigger than I was thinking. Then again, we didn't exactly... S mm -hmm -hmm. Let me be careful here. I don't want to spoil anything prematurely. That's interesting. Why you call Why do you want her to call for uh, Nico Robin? Man, these women are twisted. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised given what series I'm into, but it just reinforces the fact that women can be just whole, cold-blooded and heartless. At least in a One Piece universe. And in real life. Stop playing! Now they're trying to find out where Kinemon and the rest of them are. Ooh, I hope they're safe. Oh, Marco! Air airborne battle? Airborne battle with Marco and King! Yeah! And we're back out... Hey, we're back outside with Carrot and Wanda. Uh, I don't think anyone's into that. I can guarantee I don't know any women that are into that. I don't even know if any of these U VTubers are into that either. Though I think Buff Pup might like it. Uh, that's a horrible... That's a horrible state to be in. Suffocating in candy. I don't think I like Everglassing Gobstoppers that much to be encased in it. My thing is, I'm still surprised that the only thing that was taken away from Pedal's Pedal was just his right arm. And that was it. That explosion covered an entire beach, yet he only lost a single arm? Oh, the heat of electricity is melting the candy, yo! Petal's better really isn't that bright. Given the fact that his own mom forgot that rubber doesn't conduct electricity, I'd imagine he didn't realize that electricity is also hot. So the Charlotte family isn't exactly bright. They're ruthless, but not that bright. 
See, it's a shame that you only found out about that after the fact. You didn't take that into consideration when you encased them. I do not remember that in the manga. That's new. I, I do not remember Candy Maiden. I don't even remember the Candy Net either. You know, if Bao Huang was inside it with Kaido, she'd be a great assistant for Big News Morgan. So I'm just saying. And in comparison to the size of Kenny Moan, Inorashi, and the rest of them, this person is quite small. I really do sometimes forget that some of these people are just monstrously tall. They're not giants, they're just absurdly big. Like, imagine running into Inorashi in real life. The dude is the size of a second story building. Well, almost the size of a second story building. But they start out so small when they're kids. And things are not looking too good for Grandpa Hio. Here's something. I'm actually, well, actually, when I think about it, I was about to say, I'm surprised that Chopper's flame has not gone out of his body. Because he only has so much stamina with the size that his body is. Yet, his flames are still going on him. So either he's done very little fighting and has just been using his energy to create an antidote or plot. Either one of the two. Yo! Did, did Grandpa Hugh just grow? Yo, he big! He big! Banquet Hall, third floor, inside the castle. Oh, he big! It really is a spider's net inside of this area, isn't it? Yo! Yo! Yo, she's got brass knuckles! And the thing is, she, she, she's got Sanji set up like a, a normal punching bag. Like a, like a punching bag that's set on the... Oh! Is, that, is this the first time we're seeing Robin drawn in that specific style in comparison to when she wanted to become part of Luffy's crew? Some of these scenes look like they've been redone. Like they've been redone in this newest art style with finer details. But the way she's got Sanji set up, it makes it, makes it so that she doesn't have to work too hard to, you know, just wail on him. Just hit him, stretches, come right back. Just like a little punching bag. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. And don't let her, don't let her slightly slender frame uh, fool you. She's still a zone user, which means that she's got some strength on her side. Now that's the classic art style from the past. <laughs> he just yells it out! <laughs> and this is <laughs> look at her <laughs> I like how Jimmy was looking away from who's who and then all of a sudden he jumped at him and he's all like cat please threw some water in his face oh oh <laughs> I know who that is oh I hear bones cracking I only hear that sound when someone's doing some clutching. That is a toxic relationship. Stay away from those. No woman is worth that. Yo, there she is. Oh, the slap heard around the world. Oh, yo, Robin John. Yo. -hoo 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 -hoo. Yo, look at Robin stepping into the scene. On the next episode of One Piece, Spank Strikes, Sanji's Woman Trouble. Oh, we about to get some slap fights. Okay. Okay. I see you, Black Maria. I see you being feisty, but I also see you, Robin. Ooh, that intro. Ooh, it was good in the chapter that, uh, she showed up in as well. Oh, I really do enjoy the fact that these chapters that I've enjoyed so much in the past, like months ago, 
they're all starting to get animated and it's like wow i remember reading this chapter i can't wait for this to get animated and now we're right here on the precipice for each of these specific chapters overall i enjoyed that entire episode doesn't surprise me that sanji would do that but uh hmm hmm when it comes to ladies however it wouldn't it doesn't surprise me that sanji would do that let me be really specific there but i don't want to get into spoiler territory just know that you are about to see one of the greatest fights in wano i'm just saying that right now um overall everything else that was happening within the episode petals petal versus carrot and wanda that's still ongoing that continues in the next episode uh Everyone else is still having their respective fights. But this was really mainly a Sanji Black Maria episode as well, uh, first and foremost. Overall, I liked it. I'm glad we didn't get any more Sanji simp moments. Even though Sanji is still making it so that he doesn't want to hurt all, any of the ladies. But it, it goes back to what I was saying before. You don't have to physically hurt them or anything. But you can dodge, though. They got this man rolling around on the floor playing like this weird rolling game while they're beating him up. And then they just JoJo's Bizarre Adventure curb stomp him countless, countless times. And I'm just thinking, when did we get back to Golden Wind? This is a full on Golden Wind moment. But that's just that's just something that just struck me because the moment I thought I was just thinking I was watching Bucciarati. Bucciarati and the rest of them just curb stomping this one dude in that in that one episode in Golden Wind. And I'm like. Mm, this feels familiar but i'm rambling let me stop all i can really say at the end of the day is i enjoyed this episode and hope y'all enjoyed and can't wait to see you all in my next video and if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today then like subscribe and maybe even consider becoming a member because i am always looking forward to entertaining you so have a fantastic day and once again as always Later, peoples.